Once we've prepared the bass using manual reports, we would print them out, save them, and now we're going to use the inbuilt Reckon feature called Simplified Bass. So we'll go up to the Reports menu, and we'll go down to Tax, and we choose Simplified Business Activity Statement, Installment Activity Statement. Just warning me there about checking config, configuration and dates and so on. Okay, so starting here, we will go straight to the configuration and we need to choose monthly or quarterly. Now, in the previous chapter, I ran that, that date range as a quarter. So I'll follow with that. And the quarter was beginning in July and the calendar year was 2015. Now, company tax, I'm going to ignore that for now. PAYG withholding, we'll cover in the payroll manual. And lastly, bass lodgement, where do we want to try and automatically link using standard business reporting within Reckon. So we'll just manually do it where we could possibly export the file or log into the ATO site and manually uh, key in our figures. Important here that we're quarterly for the GST. We're not going to have one equalisation tax, luxury car, FBT obligations or fuel tax credits either. If you had any of those, obviously you need to tick that. Now, if we go into G1, we need to select the fields that go at G1. So here we've got uh, matching in our book, exports free, GST and input tax sales. G2, we would highlight exports. G3, our GST free sales. And if we had them, our input tax sales. Now we haven't had any GST free sales today, so that's zero. Capital purchases, we bought a new motor vehicle, for example, or some office equipment, and it was a capital purchase greater than $1,000, we would show that at G10. Lastly, is our GST and GST free purchases, so we would select those items. Now, I would cross-reference this back to my report from the previous uh, chapter and making sure the figures match. Taxes and amounts withheld, as I said, we'll leave the payroll. So we'll go straight on to the debits and credits. And 1A GST is our GS tax collected. Now, 612. And 1B, our GST paid, which is our capital purchases and our non-capital purchases with GST and CG. So here we can see it's grayed out. We've got a refund of $85. So 1A, more than 1B, no, there's our tax refund and we're ready to lodge. And we can save this, lodge it, print it, and so on.